Hey guys, Mighty here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to VPN your Xbox One or your PS4 or your PC. So with that said, let's get right to it. In order to do this, you're gonna need one of three gaming routers, a NetDoom R1, a Nighthawk XR500, or a Nighthawk XR700. In my case, I own a NetDoom R1 gaming router, so that's what I'm gonna be using for this video, and I'll be showing off the hybrid VPN feature. But these gaming routers also come with a lot more things like congestion control and geofiltering and etc. And I know the XR500 and the XR700 uh, come with a lot more features than the NetDoom R1 and I know that they can have faster internet speeds, you know, depending on what your base internet speed is. But with that said, let's get right to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my hybrid VPN page on my router. As you can see, it says VPN setup. There's enable. And then there's block traffic if the VPN disconnects. We're not going to be using the toggle block traffic if the VPN disconnects because if you have that turned on and let's say the VPN goes down, somebody tries hitting it offline or stressing it, then your whole internet's going to go down. So we're not going to use that. We're just going to stick with the enable toggle. Now, the reason you'd want to VPN yourself is if you play a game like Destiny 2, right, on console, you know your IP is exposed, you know, in game, you know, people are getting stressed right and left. And, um, you know, if you want to protect yourself, then you can have a VPN set up like you would here. VPN stands for virtual private network, and that will pretty much mask your IP. So your internet connection will go from your console to the VPN and then to like the servers. So in other words, people will see the VPN's IP, right? So this is a great way to protect yourself. Um, I've also made a video on how to change your IP address. So if you are getting stressed, you can try and watch that video, see if you can change your IP. And if you can, they can come back to this video and then you can watch how to set up the VPN. So you're pretty much completely protected. Um, in terms of what VPN to use, I know there's NordVPN, I know there's ExpressVPN. I would highly recommend ExpressVPN though because they come with a lot of great features. They have a lot of support, man. They have a lot of options. Um, they're just overall great, you know. You can't really go wrong with them. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to VPN setup. It's going to open up this window here. I guess what will show up first is basic, um, but we're not going to mess with basic because they limit you to like two providers. We're actually going to go to advanced. Now it's asked for a username, a password, and a configuration. And this is pretty straightforward. Once you make an ExpressVPN account, you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna see a page similar to this. If you don't see this page, you're gonna wanna click setup on the top right hand corner. And once you do that, you should come to a page like this. You're gonna have an activation code, and then you're gonna have a bunch of tabs here that say Windows, Mac, iPhone, Android, so on and so forth, right? What you're gonna wanna do is select on the tab called manual config. Now, once you've selected manual config, it's gonna present you with your username and your password. Step one, this is your unique username and password. Copy and paste these in the relevant fields. So in this case, we're gonna copy the username. We're gonna paste it here. We're gonna go back to the setup and we're gonna copy the password same thing we're going to paste it here and then lastly it says to download one or more open vpn configuration files for your account so there's going to have a lot of servers here um in my case i live in washington state so i'm going to click on americas so if you live anywhere else i mean click your relevant region uh you know in this case uh i'm looking for a server that's closest to me and if, I, if I'm not sure, you know what that is, I could definitely download the ExpressVPN, you know, Windows application. And I can run a speed test, which can show me what the fastest, you know, server is near me. Of course, I mean, surprise, surprise, it's going to be Seattle, right? My latency is going to be 83. Now, it's saying that Canada, Toronto is having a faster speed. But I've connected to Seattle many times and it works great. Yep, so see, there we go. So now the speed index updated for Seattle and this is these are the results. Um, 
So you're looking for latency that's as low as possible and a download speed that's also just as good, right? And so in this case, we want a Seattle server. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on Seattle. It's gonna open up, it's gonna you know, save a file to your downloads folder. And we're gonna open this up and say notepad plus plus or whatever. You can open this up in notepad, you know, whatever you have. And here, I guess I have two of them up, but this is the one we're looking for. Just open up the VPN download. You're gonna do a control A, control C, you're gonna copy the whole thing. And then we're gonna go up to our hybrid VPN back on our router. And we're gonna paste this into the configuration field. Now it's gonna be jumbled up. It's gonna be a lot to take in. So you're gonna have to try and scroll down, look for the connect button. And once you click connect, that's it. You're pretty much now connected to the VPN. Um, and now I have to enable it, right? I have to enable it for the VPN to work. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go to VPN traffic. We're gonna go ahead and add our relevant devices. In this case, I'm gonna add the PlayStation and I'm also gonna add the Xbox One. There we go. So now here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm actually gonna show you guys uh, my consoles, you know, like proof that it's working. So we're gonna go to the Elgato and now here we're gonna go to settings. Now within our settings, we're gonna go to network, network settings. And here you can see that the NAT type is open. So everything's completely open. My IP is exposed. And now we're going to go back to the desktop and we're gonna go ahead and enable the VPN. Now, once we do this, it's gonna say connecting down here in status. Now it says connected. And now if I go back to my console, you will see that shortly it will update on the right side and will connect me to the VPN accordingly. So let's see if I do a, if I do a test network connection, check my connection, I'm connected to the internet and uh, <laughs> you'll see here the NAT type is now changing. It'll say moderate, double NAT detected. You're probably thinking, oh, that's really bad. It's actually fine. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to Microsoft Edge and we're gonna go to Google and we're gonna type in ExpressVPN, what is my IP? In this case, like I said, ExpressVPN has a lot of great tools. So here it is, expressvpn.com slash what is my IP. We're gonna click on it. And as you can see, your ExpressVPN IP address is this. Your IP address is secured. So this isn't my actual IP. This is the server I'm connected to in Seattle. So that's great. Um, one thing about this router though, about these gaming routers, uh, NetDoom R1, EXR, and so on, is that I know that at the moment, Duma OS has a problem with DNS leak tests. So if somebody really knows what they're doing, they could maybe hit you offline. Um, and I know that they're working on it. So the date of this upload, you know, there could have been changes. This could have been fixed. Um, so I'll try and keep you guys updated. But as far as I know, there are DNS leaks. I'm not gonna show that page. However, you know, if somebody just tries to pull your IP, they're pulling this, you know, they're not pulling your own. So that's to prove that the VPN is actually working. If we go back to my desktop, um, as you can see, it's enabled, it's connected, and I have VPN traffic in here as my PlayStation and Xbox. I can pull up the PlayStation 2 if you guys want me to, but it'd be the same thing. I'd go to a, another internet window and prove that the VPN's IP is different. So, or that my own IP is, you know, VPN accordingly. And the last thing I'll share with you guys is how to VPN your PC. Now you could do this from the Windows Express VPN app. Uh, you could just turn it on and it'll connect you to a server automatically, you know, if that's something you want it to do. But that's gonna VPN everything on your computer. I know there are people that stream on OBS and they want to be able to stream without having their upload speed affected. And the NetDuma R1 router can actually take care of this as well. So, Back in the old version of the NetDuma R1, you were able to VPN uh, 
everything but the streaming services. So in a way, you were able to just make it so that your upload speed wasn't affected when you were streaming, so you couldn't drop frames, but everything else was VPN, which was an amazing feature. Unfortunately, I don't think that feature is available on uh, on the NetDuma R1 or, or the Nighthawk or any Duma OS, you know, router, you know, at the moment. So what you would do is you would click on mode and you would select do not VPN these services. So what you're pretty much saying is don't VPN my OBS, like my upload speed. Uh, and then you'd click add service and they have a lot of basic things such as League of Legends, Overwatch, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But we're looking for advanced, but even then they ask for a source port, destination port and protocol. So this is super technical. I've scoured the NetDuma forums trying to figure out what the version, you know, of being able to VPN your, uh, you know, everything but your OBS was, and I haven't found a solution for it. But if I do, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But otherwise, like I said, you know, if you guys are able to find that out, then feel free. But otherwise, you know, that's the problem there. I mean, that's it, guys. It's really straightforward. Like I said, just make sure you go to ExpressVPN. You know, you set up your stuff, paste your username and password and the configuration accordingly. You know, I downloaded a Seattle configuration, but you could download any one of these configurations in here, paste that in there, and then press connect, and it'll connect you to a brand new server. If the Seattle one ever goes down, you know, it, it has like maybe once or twice before, but my stream has stayed up constantly. I can always, you know, go to the app and connect to the next fastest thing, which would be Los Angeles 2, right? I would download Los Angeles 2, copy it in there, the configuration field, and then connect to it like I would any other server, and I would get a brand new IP. So with that said, I hope this video helped you guys out. You know, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you guys have any questions or you guys need help with this or anything, please let me know. I'd be happy to assist. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.